Love everyone and let's check out another very instructive chess game from the 19th century of chess. And in this chess game, white is Chagorin, Mikhail Chagorin, one of the strongest players in the late 19th century. And he was also probably the first great Russian player. And Chagorin was also the first Russian player who competed in the international chess tournaments. So this game was played in St. Petersburg in 1876 in Russian Empire. And the opponent of Chagorin is Ilya Shumov. So Chagorin, who is playing with the white pieces, starts the game with playing e4. Shumov played e5, d4, e takes on d4. And Chagorin didn't capture the pawn. He played c3. Sacrificing the pawn, happily capturing the pawn, d takes on c3, and Chogorin again didn't capture the pawn, he played bishop to c4, the Danish gambit, c takes on b2, bishop takes on b2, by Chogorin, Chogorin sacrificed two pawns, and then he created a very active position, well, this must be one of the most aggressive openings in chess for white. So after bishop takes on b2, Ilya Shumov played bishop to b4, death check, knight to c3, also developing the knight, knight to f6, queen to c2, by Chagorin, black castled, also Chagorin castled, but in the queen side. More epic. Queen to e7, Chagorin played e5. Attacking the knight and sacrificing the pawn. Ilya Shumov captures the pawn. Queen takes on e5, but then knight to d5 by Chagorin. Attacking the queen with the bishop. And attacking the bishop with the knight. Black is in trouble. Black played queen to g5, that's check. And is he going to save the bishop? No. Chagorin played f4. Attacking the queen and the bishop again. Queen to h6, and Chagorin chops the bishop with the knight. And before forgetting, if queen to d6, then knight takes knight. That's check, of course. That was attacking the queen with the rook, and losing the queen for black. What an aggressive opening by Chagorin. So queen to g5, f4, queen to h6, and Chagorin captures the bishop. This is what happened in the game. Shumov. Captures on f4 with the queen, that's check, king to b1, d5, rook to d4 by Chagorin, attacking the queen, bishop to f5, also Shumov is attacking the queen, rook takes queen, bishop takes queen, king takes on c2, d takes on c4, Chagorin chops the knight, bishop takes on f6, g takes on f6, knight to d5, well, Chagorin is a piece up, but on the other hand, black has four extra pawns. Thus, Chagorin hates his pawns. Maybe that was the reason he sacrificed all of his pawns. So, after knight to d5, it looks like Chagorin is simply attacking the pawn. Knight to a6, knight to f3, b5, rook to f1, slowly maneuvering his pieces. So after rook to f1, we have rook from f to d8. And Chagorin finally captures the pawn. Knight takes on f6, king to g7. And here comes knight to h5, king to g6, rook to f6. Oops, the Chagorin forgot about his knight. King takes on h5. This was part of a plan that Chagorin played a very beautiful king hunting. And watch this epic king hunting by Chagorin. Chagorin played g4, that's check. King takes on g4. Rook to g1, king to h5. And here comes rook to g5 by Chagorin. Check, mate. The king is dead. The kiss of dead. What a beautiful checkmate by Chagorin. What an epic, what a sadistic chess game.
He simply crushed his opponent. He simply tortured his opponent. What a dominating performance by Chogarin. This was definitely one of the notable chess games in the 19th century of chess. So I hope you have enjoyed watching this video and I hope to see you next time. Take care.